Hi guys, my name is Robin and I've been lashing for about two years and today I'm going to be going over how we prep and clean our lashes before each service. That's going to be including using our micellar water, our lash bath, and then I'm going to go over two ways to prime your lashes. This part of the service is really important because it's going to help your clients with retention. Throughout the day, they may touch their lashes, they may wear mascara or eyeshadow, so our micellar water will help with the mascara and makeup remove. And then the lash bath is really going to give you a deep clean and get all the oils out and make your fans stay open and fluffy. So first, I'm just going to be showing you guys how we use our micellar water, and that helps get off any makeup, oil, buildup, anything like that. So I'm just going to have you look up towards me. I put the iPads on as if I was just going to do a normal lash service. I like to use the iPads because when I use the micellar water, it's to get the makeup off. And so when I keep working in there, the iPads will eventually get that gray um, makeup on there. And so when they turn white, you know that all the makeup is off. So I'm just taking these little lip wands and I take the micellar water and I kind of just get them on the tip and just make sure there's a good amount on there. So I have my two little lip wands with the micellar water on them. And what I do is I go underneath and on top of the lashes and I kind of just go down with the way of the lashes gently. And I keep doing that until I see all the makeup is off. And you can go on top and you kind of just really want to work it in there to make sure you get every single lash and you get super close to the lash line. So when clients wear bottom mascara, when they blink, it transfers to the top. So you really want to get close to the base and make sure you're getting in there really really well just because that mascara just kind of hides in between the fans and in the natural lashes and you just want to work it in there really well just to make sure you get all that mascara off because if that mascara is on there it's going to cling to that lash base and it's going to break down the bond of the glue in the natural lash which is going to cause your clients to have poor attention and then after we use this micellar water we're going to go right into a lash bath just to clean this off before your fill now that we're going to start prepping for the lash bath, we're just going to peel these iPads off. And now we're going to move right on to that lash bath. When doing a lash bath, I like to have a paper towel on hand so it doesn't drip down the side of their face because I'm going to have her lean her head slightly to the left. And I just warn her I'm going to be doing a pump of this lash bath on your lid. And then I take a brush. It's just a soft bristle brush and I'm just going to go down with the way of the lashes. And you really just want to get in there, get in between them. You can gently go side to side a little bit, not too much. You don't want to pull or twist the lashes too much. You don't have to do a lash bath on your clients, but it is a great upcharge and a great add-on because um, it kind of just helps the fans open up and you can see their lashes more than they can when they do that lash bath at home which is super great and I highly recommend it because it just really works in the lashes and gets all that oil buildup out and it makes your fans fluffy and opens them back up and just removes all that excess oil that builds up throughout the day. So I'm kind of just still going down with the way of the lashes and you just want to be really gentle with it. Get on the lash line and these brushes are great because they're super, super soft so it's not irritating her eyes at all. So once you've really worked that cleanser in there, what you're gonna do is I just use a little squeezy bottle like this and it's just some water and I'm just gonna give her heads up. I'm gonna have you tilt your head a little bit more and this is just water and I'm just gonna rinse you off and it's just squeeze. And that's why the paper towel is down here so it doesn't soak the entire side of her face. <laughs> And you kind of would just want to keep rinsing until you know that all of that lash bath is out. You have to rinse it or the lashes will kind of just clump together and stay stuck. And I like to get my brush and work that water in there and work that foam cleanser together with the water just to make sure that we're getting it all off. And I'm going to come back in with this water again. Okay, and I kind of just like to wipe their under eye, their face, just so they're not dripping and super, super wet. So once you know that that lash bath is completely rinsed off, you do not want to brush your lashes out when they're wet because then those fans won't open back up. So I like to dry them off using our little fan. 
and I use a little spoolie like this and I kind of just fan until they're dry. I don't use my left hand, so, okay. So I just keep fanning and brushing um, until they're completely dry and those fans just open back up and get a lot more. So I just keep fanning and brushing until those fans are nice and open again and those lashes just kind of fluff right up. And we encourage all of our clients to wash their lashes daily just because it's gonna help you out when they come in for their fill every two, two and a half weeks. It's gonna help with their retention and they'll have a lot more lashes when they come in. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how I prime my lashes. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how I prime the lashes. So I'm just gonna be using the same eye pads and just placing those underneath just normally how you would. So I'm just gonna be putting the iPads on, getting ready to prime my client's lashes to do either a fill or a full set. When priming the lashes, there's two different ways to do it. You can use a standard saline solution or you can use an actual lash primer, which we sell. The difference between the two is that the primer has a little bit of alcohol in it, so it's really gonna help get all the oil out of your client's natural lashes, especially for your clients that have a lot oilier skin and that's gonna help with retention. It's gonna help that lash stick to that natural lash a lot better. Um, the saline solution is just like a general universal primer um, for any skin type, but I'm going to be using the lash primer and I'm taking these little lip ones again and I'm just putting a little mount on the very tips of them. And then I'm just gonna be going in those lashes kind of the same way you use that micellar water kind of just gonna go in the lashes, get in between them, go underneath, just to make sure you coat all those lashes with that primer. And it's super, super important to use a primer because like I said, it gets all those natural oils out, which is gonna help you have better retention. So when they do come back in two, two and a half weeks, they'll have a lot more lashes left. I just kind of like to dry the lashes after I prime and just brush them out again. So those are three ways that you can prep and prime your client before you do your service. The primer is non-negotiable. I prime every one of my clients. You can upcharge with the lash bath or even the micellar water. I use the micellar water if my clients are coming in with a bunch of makeup on. I use that no matter what. But you can totally add on a lash bath as an upcharge cause just because you're using a specialty product and you're really getting in there and giving that client that deep clean that their lashes need. Question for you guys, how do you like to prep and prime your clients? Comment down in the section below and then make sure you check out our next video by tapping on the screen.